Hey guys, before we start the video, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Aura. For those who may be unaware, data brokers sell your information to anyone else who could send you spam mail slash email, uh, text messages, they could attempt to scam you online, get into your accounts, you know, anything. Your full name, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there. There are just too many data brokers out there, it, it seemed impossible. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Aura do more than just that, though. They offer antivirus protection, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, just to name a few tools in their one package suite. You don't need multiple applications to do all these things anymore. Aura have it all under one name. And for this level of protection, it's honestly a good price. Right now, you can sign up using my link at aura.com slash nate narrates and get a two week free trial to try them out for yourselves they even have family plans so you can protect yourself and your loved ones at least with aura i know i'm protected online no matter what device i use if you've been wondering what you should be using online to protect yourself you should probably click the link today and try it out for yourselves that's aura.com slash nate narrates i'll also pop the link in the description below right on with the story Agent Gross 4329, please confirm arrival at destination point and stand by for assignment portfolio. Arrived. 16.4835 degrees north, 103.5061 degrees east. Kallisan Province, Thailand. February 1st, 2024. Ready to engage. Standing by. Assignment is case number 9785, Bangkok Airport. Subhanubhumi Hauntings Investigation in three parts 1. Assimilate, learn local culture 2. Study claims of airport hauntings and interview locals 3. Visit airport and seek evidence Message received and understood Local Thai time 16.36 My host has brought me to a local service provider a beauty salon in this rural neighborhood. I aim to open discussion with patrons on belief in ghosts. Question 1 to salon customers. Do Thai people believe in ghosts? Answer, yes, very much. Question 2 to Thai salon customers. How many times have you seen a ghost? Answer, 9 or 10 times when I was very young, about 8 years old. Notes on case 9785. Construction of Zavarnabhumi Airport in Sabut Prakam province was completed in 2096. Marshland was drained for the building, known as Nong Nguao or Cobra Swamp. Claim number one, this area included an ancient cemetery. Date correction. For 2096, read instead 2006. Thai time. 2036. As the evening winds down, I decide to interview a couple of local ladies working in a restaurant. Usual questions. Do you believe in ghosts? For the first time, as my translator will attest, we have two people who do not believe and have never seen ghosts. So, not all Thai people believe. Okay, do you believe in ghosts? Ask the question. Believe in ghosts? Can be it, yeah. No, no believe, no yes. believe ghosts. Yes. Yes, no believe ghosts. No see nothing. Okay. No, no see nothing. Two people. Yes. Okay. Sure. Thai time. Sixteen forty-two. Eating dinner with a local Thai family. The main dish consists of some type of internal organs of a cow, mixed with fragrant herbs and a very spicy sauce, accompanied by sticky rice rolled into small balls. I ask the patriarch of this group the standard questions. 1. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. 2. How many ghosts have you seen? 1. He tells the story. <laughs>
this was the ghost of the owner of a farm where he worked. When the ghost was present, there was a very strong smell all around. Now his daughter talks about her son as a toddler, sitting beside her looking into thin air and laughing at somebody and gesturing with his arms as if at play. She is confident this was the spirit of her deceased grandmother. Finally, she speaks of an experience her aunt had within three days of the passing of her grandmother when she saw the deceased large as life. It is very clear the belief in ghosts and the life hereafter is very strong in this region. It is not disputed, but taken by all as a matter of fact, with direct personal experiences had by all. So, having completed a number of interviews, we return to claim number one. Was the airport built on an ancient cemetery? All my research so far has failed to corroborate this fact, but... The research has yielded a number of further very interesting and coincidental facts, never before connected to this claim but which will be introduced later today in more elaborate detail. Quite apart from the possibility of the airport being built on an ancient cemetery, the land where it was built, Cobra Swamp, was infested with snakes which had to be exterminated en masse, bringing very bad luck in the views of some people. Cobra Swamp Image Source IASR case number 9785, Bangkok Airport claim number 2. Due to extermination of many snakes during clearance of Cobra Swamp, some spirits linger and have cursed the area, introducing potential new evidence to support this claim, as yet uncorroborated. Although my report will cover the now well-established claims of a curse on the airport construction and beyond, I'd first like to highlight a seemingly previously unlinked series of reports, supporting the curse theory relating to the Klong Nang Niao, now. Because it shares the name of Cobra Swamp and is situated at or close to the former swamp location, it is presumed, this still needs verifying, that the building of the Kong Nong Niao Canal was at least as impactful as that of the airport, and so perhaps at risk of a curse. There would seem to be some evidence to support this idea, especially in recent years as in 2020. A walkway along the canal collapsed, injuring eight people. Source. Khmer Times, Illustrated, Scene Aftermath of Walkway Collapse. The 2020 incident led only to injuries, but in 2023 a jet ski collided with a long tailboat on the canal, killing three people. Source, Bangkok Post. Good morning, Agent Gross. This is your senior supporting officer, Colonel Moon Liver. These are interesting new tangents to the curse claim, so thank you for sharing. What can you tell us about the curse claims as they relate to the construction of the airport? Well, sir, construction on the airport began in 2002, with a projected cost of $2.4 billion and was signature project for then Prime Minister Thaksin. The project was beset by problems, suffering many delays, costs inflated above $4 billion, and even a coup ousting PM from power. But most importantly, the many challenges, tragedies, accidents were blamed on the disturbed spirits, Workers died in the course of the four-year project or were injured. For example, in January 2006, there was a huge fire in cafeteria building where hundreds of workers were trapped. The many instances of bad luck will be blamed on the curses or the anger of the disturbed spirits, and in many cases the workers reported actually witnessing these spirits. One in particular was caretaker of the cemetery. Claim number three. Often witnessed presence of the ghost of the cemetery caretaker, Pu Ming. The most reported manifestation of a spirit during construction, and since, was that of an old man whose head has a blue aura and is known as Pu Ming, said to be guardian of the cemetery. Breaking new evidence relating to case 9785, claim 1, has been submitted by Agent 118 Philomene McLeod. Currently stationed Suriname, please stand by, transcript to follow. Received from Agent 118 in field 6.50 a.m. GMT, 3rd February 2024, to corroborate CC 9785.1. Managed to trace airport GM from time of construction, Somchai Sawaz Dipon, who says this, the land formerly belonged to local communities near the centuries-old Wat Nong Pru and its cemetery. It was reported that the bodies had not been exhumed for proper religious cremation. End message. Agent 118 will do some further research into the temple and cemetery of Wat Nong Pru and provide further updates at a later point. Colonel Moonliver. 
This is very significant news, as it represents, for the first time, statement from an official on the project detailing even a name for the supposed mysterious cemetery built over by the airport. This indicates what was rumor may be supported by fact. Moreover, this new evidence answers a question that has puzzled many, especially Farangs, foreigners, regarding the cemetery, namely it was understood that according to Thai Buddhist ritual, the dead are cremated. Though true, this usually occurs after a period of burial. This lends further credence to the notion of a curse, given that there were bodies known to not have completed the death rites in this cemetery. We look forward to learning more of this line of inquiry. Now, back to details of more ghosts seen at the airport. Claim 4, CC 9785.4 Corroborated by Squadron Leader Panapong Noel Thongyai, Head of Airport Security when told of a spectral lady carrying a baby materializing on the road beside the airport causing drivers to swerve, sometimes crash in at least two cases leading to death confirmed. Squadron leader Nuo Thong Yai believes the claim because it happened to him personally. He witnessed this spirit and it caused him to veer off the road, but he was lucky enough to survive and believes the claim should be taken very seriously. And so it was that throughout over four years of construction from 2002 to 2006, paranormal activity persisted at the site from disembodied voices moaning and wailing unexplained noises such as footsteps, the sound of traditional music without a source, apparitions. The point was reached where workers were resigning or refusing to go to certain areas. Then a particularly horrific accident occurred involving a female worker falling into a liquid concrete mold and getting stuck when colleagues didn't hear her cries. After a time that concrete started to set so that by the time she was discovered and broken free by rescue workers, her injuries were so severe that she died. It is believed that her spirit was not freed, but remains imprisoned in the concrete pillar to this day. Claim 5. The Haunted Pillar Located in the staff area in the customs area, the concrete pillar wherein she died is haunted by the tragic worker's spirit. Staff even believe the outline of the woman can still be seen in the pillar. Offerings are made and flowers laid to this day. The Haunted Pillar The Buddhist monks bless a staff member who appears possessed by the spirit of Pu Ming. So you have so far identified six supernatural occurrences at Suwan Bumi Airport in Bangkok, Asian Gross. Please confirm, Colonel Quentin Moonliver. Correct, Colonel. In all six supernatural activities outlined up until official opening of airport. However, several more items have emerged since the opening of the airport in September 2006. Those claims to follow. Before examining the latest claims, and with two days remaining in my time exploring Thai customs and culture, I will turn my attention today to some final observations on this study. It is quite clear to me as a Westerner, or Farang, as Thai people would call me, that Thai culture and custom is very different to my own. Food, for example. I was offered cockroach. I politely declined and a popular snack, ants' eggs. Take a closer look. This food is still alive. Hey, what's up? Yeah. I'm I'm the idea. Ants, <laughs> eggs, <okay. laughs> These are just some of the foods popular here. Hen's feet and various parts of the pig are also extremely popular. Luckily, I found respite with this mobile vendor of pancakes. Cooked on the spot, also very common here. Yes. Last night it felt like some, some of the content I am investigating may have affected the local population here. Allow me to recount. As I was riding into town, I was struck by the fact that local farmers were burning their fields to prepare for planting, very near the road. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is common practice in these parts, but as I explained to my host, this is illegal in my home country of the UK because of the danger posed to road user, a matter dismissed in Thai culture. This morning, however, reports of a serious accident on that same stretch of road. Urgent intervention addressed to Agent 389. Agent Gross, this is a reminder to engage IASR Protocol 14. Take all necessary precautions and the slightest indication that a supernatural entity may be exceeding its natural local borders. Please review and engage the protocol. Acknowledged, Command. Reviewing protocol. IASR safety protocols reviewed and engaged. We will now resume the chronology of Bangkok Airport, BKK, following its opening in 2006. In 2013, it is reported that an A330-300 aircraft, Thai Airways flight from Guangzhou, China, veered off the runway. Though investigations identified a fault in the landing gear, many were convinced the spirits played a part and one passenger reported a very helpful staff member assisting passengers as they used the escape slides. She was dressed in traditional Thai costume. Claim 7. A Benevolent Ghost. A lady in traditional Thai costume aids people in times of stress and danger. Photo. Lady in traditional Thai dress. Source. Duke Language School. Although Thai Airways staff wear the traditional Thai costumes, they never wear them during takeoff and landing, leading all to believe this was indeed a benevolent spirit intervening. Five years after the 2013 incident, the exact same flight suffered the same fate, veering off the runway again, although on this occasion, no reports of helpful spirits, although the coincidentally repeating incidents support the curse claims, claim number two. Photo. Repeated incidents of a specific flight veering off runway. This concludes my reports for what will be my penultimate day in Thailand. Tomorrow's final day of investigation will outline further spurious reports and claims of supernatural activity at the airport, culminating in my personal visit to the site tomorrow night. Any updates on the ancient cemetery from Agent McLeod? Only update from Agent 118 indicates that Wat Nong Pru is a temple complex and community currently in the Chonburi district, roughly 100 kilometers south of the airport. So unless there was more than one of it or it relocated, hard co to corroborate this story. Very well. Moving on to two final claims of hauntings at the airport in recent times. Claim 8. Haunted Honda. In 2013, rumors spread about a car abandoned so long in the airport car park, the owner was believed dead and now haunting the car. Offerings were given as ever. Claim 9. Around 2017, a video began circulating which seemed to show passengers walking along a sky bridge from a non-existent plane. See photo. This concludes the claims under investigation at Bangkok Airport, but it must be stressed this is not an exhaustive list. Further claims exist, including the influence of Pu Ming on the high incidence of suicides at the airport. However, my assignment time will close soon. It is now time for me to prepare for tonight's visit to the airport in person. Final report on Bangkok Airport, Suvarnabhumi hauntings. Most recent claims of haunted Honda and haunted Skybridge have been successfully debunked. Details will appear later in post report addendum. What now follows is a series of images tracking my visit last night to the airport. I invite my agency colleagues to review these images, carefully for any evidence supporting claims 1 through 7. Note, please pay special attention to the final image. This concludes the assignment report. First off, I'd like to say thank you to my dad for uh, be <laughs> being one of the funniest voices I've heard in quite a while. The uh, the voice of um, of the IASR staff, Qu Quentin Colonel Moonliver. It sounds like it sounds like a name out of like a Clue movie or something. You know what I mean? That that's so funny. Um, 
So here's here's my initial thoughts, right? It could be an ARG of some kind. It could be, I mean, I because it's it's there's no horror elements itself, but I think it like encapsulates the concepts of horror things, mostly in the realm of the paranormal. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, this this is kind of fun and goofy. It could be like a um like like a a secret agent style thing going on. It's it's a bit of fun. And then um and then I decided ah, I might click on some of these links and like just have a look if any of these claims are uh, are true. And um and that's where things get really interesting, right? Because typical typical ARGs and things like that, they um they only cover so much, you know, and they don't always have real things, you know. Like things steeped in the real world, it kind of sets it apart, really. The fact that um that even though they, they these people might not be real and the agency might not be real, what they're investigating is in fact real, and I think that's really interesting. Now let me let me go ahead and explain. So I decided to kind of simplify things, and um, I made a little list myself of the claims that they were investigating, and I've noticed that uh, well maybe like two or three of them can be kind of lumped into one claim, really, when you break it down. And um and their numbering system didn't quite match up exactly at the end there, but uh yeah, I digress. So let's go ahead and go through some of these and see um see what makes sense, see what lines up. So uh so the first two pretty much kind of can kind of blend together. So you've got the talk about the airport area being built on a place called Cobra Swamp, uh, which also has an ancient cemetery. Like so, they they literally built this airport over the top of swampland. And eradicated a bunch of snakes, you know, that's why the Cobra Swamp, and also Ancient Cemetery. Let's go ahead and have a look at look at a little bit of that. So so the the link that they actually use for the, the source material in some of their um in some of the images, it's uh it does take you to an actual website. So this is the smart local uh Savarnabumi Airport, Bangkok's cursed aviation hub, haunted by spirits of former owners and other supernatural beings. And you're like, oh well that's quite interesting. So then you've got um You've got a bit of information here about how it's uh, ranked 46th best airport in the world, blah, 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 a bit of the creepy history. It was indeed originally a marshland called Nong Nu Hao. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, and it's uh, it means Cobra Swamp in English, later trained for the construction of the airport, even though it was unsuitable. During the construction process, a lot of snakes in the area were killed, which locals believe put a curse on the land. So, so, so far, it, it's almost like it's lining up a little too well with the story. Well, that could just be part of it, you know. Uh, let's see. Obviously talking about lingering spirits that around the area. Not only was it a natural habitat for snakes, but also a cemetery that's believed to be protected and guarded by Pu Ming, the plot's guardian spirit. So that, yet again, plays credence. Uh, when reports of unexplainable injuries and accidents began to surface, many blamed Pu Ming and other holy spirits who refused to leave the land. Uh-huh. There's definitely quite a lot of information here. They've even got stuff about the... Um, uh, 99 monks were invited to perform spiritual cleansing rituals for nine weeks to appease the spirits for the airport's opening ceremony back in 2006. So uh, a lot of the information they're giving us is factual. It is true. Whether the supernatural element of it, the paranormal, is true or not, that's yeah, that's an arguable point, isn't it? But, um, but it's very interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. Then obviously you've also got the haunted driveways and pillars that they were talking about. Which is uh, pretty awesome. They got some cool pictures here, including pictures of the haunted pillar, the lady who supposedly walks around, and everything. Which is, uh, oh, hang on, the spirit was also claimed to be the ghost of a female construction worker who accidentally fell into the columns. Mold. Oh, I didn't know she was a construction worker. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see what else have I found. If you tend to just Google Savarnabumi Airport Haunted, which is kind of what I did, just to kind of have a look at some of these claims. Um, it turns out that there's quite a few news articles. You've got uh, uh, from the Mirror, for example. You've got other like individual websites for indie base, uh, the Culture Trip, Aviation for Aviators. Quite a few people who cover even. I mean, there's obviously a Wikipedia article. That's not really. That's not really that amazing, is it? But um, but going through the Wikipedia, for example, talking about all the different aircraft and stuff that go through it, they do indeed mention the incident at 8 September 2013, Thai Airways International Flight 679, an Airbus A330-300 arriving from Guangzhou, had a runway excursion from runway 19L while landing in heavy rain with extensive damage to the airplane and the runway. So, this is just, it just makes it so much more interesting, in my opinion, the fact that they're investigating real claims, 
which you can look up, you can even investigate yourself if you were, say, at the Bangkok airport. Uh, I think that's just, it's just so, so interesting. Uh, let's see what else. So obviously, there's a, there's quite a bit of mention about Pu Ming in quite a few of these articles. Uh, several people have claimed to see a ghostly lady carrying a baby. She is described as the pale woman, often stepping in front of vehicles to frighten drivers. She has been blamed for a number of accidents. Poltergeists are thought to plague parts of the airport too, creating havoc when sighted. A deserted Honda car is parked in the parking lot and is said to be haunted by a spirit of a Pakistani man who rented the car but crashed it and died. There's even one about uh, across the years. Many sightings of ghosts have been reported. The most common is of an elderly man, a blue silhouette who haunts the hallways with a walking stick. His voice is said to be frail. Now this is, uh, yet again, lines up with the Pooh Ming story. So it's just, it's just continuously interesting, really. It really is. A passenger injured in a Thai Airways crash at Saverna Bumi Airport claimed to have spotted a woman thought to be a cabin crew member in traditional outfit helping to evacuate people from the A330-300 aircraft, which veered off the runway on Sunday night after arriving from China. The Thai Airways said that none of their flight attendants wore a traditional Thai uniform that night. All of the flight attendants wore a short-sleeved shirt, which begs the question, who helped the passengers leave the stricken aircraft? Uh, this is from the Duke Language School, the, the specific one that um that they popped in the uh, the Twitter story. When it comes to the case of the uh, the haunted sky bridge, it, it required a little bit more um, investigation. But um, conveniently, I've got this this fantastic YouTube video that we found by Para Breakdown. I'll go ahead and pop the link in the description below. I'm not gonna we're not gonna watch it on here because I believe it's he's he deserves his due diligence. If if you if you're curious, it's only a three minute long video. He goes in quite a lot of in-depth information about why it's not its not actually what it says it is. I would say he debunks it. He debunks it very, very well, and I, I totally recommend watching it. It's, uh, it has a great deal of information for you. It's so fascinating, all the information that is is found just based on finding this one Twitter story. It's, I, I think it's so interesting. That's what really drew me to it, the fact that it, it has real-world implications, story elements, you know? I think it's so cool, and uh, whether or not this organization is real, I, I kind of doubt it. I mean, you know, they're not going to put all their stuff out on Twitter. Um, it's still interesting, and it's still really fun, and um, I'm kind of curious to see what they investigate next. So I'll, uh, I'll be keeping an eye on you, IASR. Now, before I uh, close us off, there was one other thing. You see... I'm doing my own investigations. I also found out that they had a, uh, they have a website. Sadly, there's not a whole lot to it at the moment, but it's got their logo, International Agency for Supernatural Research. This is a private organization, and we are not accepting membership requests at this time. All interested parties who are deemed to fit the profile for membership may be approached by IASR directly and invited to apply. Interesting. So very interesting. It just yet again really emphasizes the fact for me that it's most likely some kind of an ARG. And at the end of the day, I think it's just a lot of fun. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I really hope you have too. We'll see you for whatever's next. Take care.